Hey guys, guess what I'm drinking? Black raspberry bubbly water. Today, we are going to make gluten-free vegan bread without yeast. I don't know how it's gonna turn out without the yeast, but we're gonna try it anyway. So, first we're gonna get out everything that we need. Gluten-free flour mix. Honey. Yeast alternative. Apple cider vinegar. Aquafaba. Aquafaba is basically you take a can of garbanzo beans and you pour the juice out. That water that's in there is aquafaba or bean water. That's all it is. Cream of tartar. Xanthan gum. I do not use xanthan gum because it's really hard on my intestines and my stomach it kind of tears me up. In place of xanthan gum, we're using extremely finely ground flaxseed meal instead. Baking powder. I will show you how to make mine. Um, I make my own. EpiPen. Salt. I use pink Himalayan salt. Isn't that right, sweetie? Canola oil. It's what I bought. You will also need a bread pan, a spatula, kitchen mixer, and it says with the paddle attachment, so give me a second to find that because I have no idea where to put that. Oh hey, it's exactly where it was supposed to be. Oh thank goodness. We are going to need a bowl to mix the flour and a bowl to mix the aquafaba. Oh, and this is my cooking spray. Preheating oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to do a yeast mix that's different. It's not yeast, but it does help it rise. And what it is is basically baking soda and an acid, which would be lime juice or something like that. I'm just going to use the apple cider vinegar because that's what I have. But we will end up mixing it together a little bit closer. One and a half, one, okay, not quite one, hold on, I'll just turn around and use the same, one and a half cups water, three tablespoons honey, I'm going to try and get some honey out of here, but if it doesn't work, we're going straight to sugar, three to four tablespoons, okay, four tablespoons, is actually one fourth of a cup, so that's gonna be easier for me to measure out. This reminds me of paste from when I was in kindergarten. I'm sure they meant like liquid honey. So I'm going to try and get this to melt a little. Get to melt under before dumping it in there. And ready? We're going to nuke the honey. Hopefully it doesn't explode. That's okay if it does. It's on video. And now we have whoa extremely hot lava. This is no longer honey. It's like super hot. Okay, the bowl is burning my hands. We're gonna pour the mini lava into the water. We're not doing the yeast mix yet. We're going to do that in just a little bit. You know what? I'm going to mix the flour first. So. My mix is sweet rice flour, white rice flour, arrowroot starch, tapioca flour, sorghum flour, millet flour, plus two and a half tablespoons of flaxseed meal for the entire thing. Do this. Last one. That's two, that's three, next is scant half teaspoon of xanthan gum. I don't know what they mean by scant, so we're just going to do a half teaspoon of flaxseed meal. And there we go. Baking powder, oh, we get to make baking powder. So to make 
baking powder, you need cream of tartar, baking soda, I'm going to use this one because it's sealed, and then tapioca flour, arrowroot starch, potato starch, corn starch, anything like that. Ah, here we go. Tapioca flour, that's what I like. I don't mind using arrowroot starch, but I prefer tapioca flour. For this, what you're going to do is you take one part cream of tartar. I'm using a teaspoon for this one because I need four teaspoons. So we'll do two teaspoons of each. Two teaspoons of that. That's cream of tartar. Two teaspoons baking powder. I mean, yeah, baking soda, not powder. And two teaspoons tapioca flour. And that just keeps it from um, getting moisture in it. You'll find a lid, make sure it's dry on the inside, put this on, work with me, thank you, and then shake. There you go, baking powder. So I need four teaspoons baking powder, one, two, three, four. And one teaspoon salt. Where'd my salt go? I know I should probably have containers for everything, but I don't. I am slowly working on it though. And then mix it all together. I hate this whisk so much. Got that mix made. And then one fourth cup canola oil. Oh my god, I hope this tastes good. And two tis apple cider vinegar. Here. We'll use this. I'm gonna measure out. Do you can you see that? Let's see. Two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. One. We'll set these aside and the next thing we're making is aquafaba whip mm -hmm. okay i need the cream of tartar again we're gonna need one fourth cup bean water got a can opener my handy dandy 26 year old can opener Do it this way. There you go. One fourth cup bean water. Blank. And half a teaspoon cream of tartar. Do -do 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 -do. Well, that looks like a lot. And to have never made this before, so not like this. I'm assuming this is like the egg replacer part. And then we. Oh, oh my god. <sighs> Mix on high until stiff peaks form. Okay, this is the part where we make the yeast alternative because we're supposed to put everything together in the bowl. Here, we'll use this. 
another mason jar. I am going to do half baking soda, half apple cider vinegar for the yeast alternative. Now it worked in another bread. I'm not sure if it'll work in this one. We'll find out. Ready? So it says two and a half teaspoons of yeast. So I'm going to use one and one fourth teaspoon of each. Here's this is a half teaspoon, so I'm going to put in two, and then one fourth. Then what you do, you do one and a fourth of apple cider vinegar, or vinegar, one, two, like if you can't have apple cider, just use white vinegar. You stir it up together. And then, honestly, I'm not sure why you're supposed to stir it up together, but yeah, whatever. I found it on the recipe page like eons ago. So, so we put that in the honey and water mix. Okay, I am going to set this up. And I'm stirring it together because the honey kind of settled at the bottom a little bit. And then we are supposed to Add dry ingredients to mix your bowl with yeast, or yeast alternative. Slowly begin to mix in the dry mix. Okay. Right, screw that. Here. Ha ha! Slowly mixing together. And then we slowly add the oil and the apple cider vinegar in that order. Oil. Apple cider vinegar. Let's get a good look at this. Ready? Now we're supposed to stop this, and I'm going to lower it. And then you're supposed to gently scoop in the aquafaba um, fluff. I don't know what I would call this. Okay. Bowl can go in the sink. Don't mind my dirty dishes. Okay. Now we're going to raise this back up. And then you're supposed to mix it gently on a slow speed until the dough is well combined 30 seconds or less. So. I counted to 30. Hopefully that was 30. That's actually terrible. It's like sizzling. Can you hear that? It is supposed to look like cake batter. Next step. Spray your bread pan. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. That works quite nicely. So most of this side of the kitchen is now coated in coconut oil. Oh. Just to scrape bread mix into loaf pan. Okay. All of it. You can see this totally looks like cake mix. Spatula 
time. Well, it looks like most of the honey mixed. But there's still a little bit at the bottom. Okay. Okay, looking at this. That looks like super watery. I hope this actually makes bread. Please make bread. I really miss bread. So, excuse the messy stove. This, oh my god, my stand just completely fell. Excuse the messy stove, but. Here is my bread mix. Does that look like bread dough to you? Because I'm kind of skeptical at this point. We are going to cover it. Hmm. I don't have plastic wrap. We are going to use cling wrap. It's actually pressing. And I just punched myself in the boob. And then you let it rest for 20 to 30 minutes. And it says, do not overproof. Not that I know what that really means. But okay. Timer. We'll do 20 minutes. I'm also going to be smart and get out a pan to put this in so that when it goes in the oven, when it spills over, I don't have to clean the oven. And here we are with one minute left. I see absolutely no... Oh, maybe I do. Okay, now it's frothy. That's kind of interesting. Now we're going to put this in the oven for one hour or until the internal temperature reaches 210 to 220. <laughs> I don't have a thermometer. So we're just going to stick it in there for an hour. There it is. Baking in the oven. We'll be back. 30 minutes in. Here, let's see if that good. Quick peek. Ooh. That was pretty. Oh my god, that smells good. So... I don't have aluminum foil, but it said that if it's browning too much to put aluminum foil on it. So what I did is I took a pan like that and just put it over top of it. Hopefully that will work. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Anyway, the bread's done. Hold on. I was totally sitting in the chair, chilling, reading Reddit, and I heard tea. I'm like, oh crap. Maybe that's what the alarm on the phone was. To go get set up for when the bread gets on in the oven. Oh. Oops. Oh my god, this smells amazing. Now it says to take the bread out and let it sit for one to two minutes. There it is. It smells good. I hope that's not like a complete lie. Like the bread's like, mmm, I can taste smelling delicious, and then you eat it and it's like, Bleh. Test to make sure the middle's done. debating. Bread dough. I mean, it's not bad. I think once that's done cooking, it'll taste better. I am going to do 10 more minutes.
well, it kind of tastes like bread, from what I tasted. Of course, it was dough. So, there we go. I'm going to clean up the kitchen while this finishes. I found a thermometer. It doesn't have 210 to 220 on it, but it does have, it goes up to like 190. See? Right there. So I'm thinking if maybe it's like way up there, then hopefully it'll be good. And you know what? Next month I'm buying a digital thermometer. Not wow, not quite. It's actually at about 180. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh my gosh, I forgot to turn the lights. Okay. Oven's done again. Although this time I have a thermometer, so I can test it. came out clean. I'm calling it done. Okay, so now we're supposed to let it sit for like one to two minutes while it cools. Here, come on over here with me. Hold on, let me lock this down so I don't knock it over. Look at that. Isn't that good looking? Hold on, let me grab my other. like bread. It smells like bread. It actually smells a little better. So we're going to let it sit for two minutes. Then what we do is we turn it out onto a cooling rack and we let it lay on its side and cool until it's completely cool. Like, Don't cut into it until it's not hot, well, until it's cool. I wonder how cool. Hmm. How cool is that? No, I'm just kidding. So, this is my cooling rack. And we have like one minute. It feels pretty dense, but it doesn't feel like, it feels like real bread. Five, four, three, two, one. definitely say that um, I should have like floured the side of the pan or something. I'm going to say that the coconut oil pan spray did not work like it was supposed to. As you can see, I'm having to like scrape the bread off the side. Although weirdly enough, when I do, it kind of shrinks a little. Bread. Get out of there. I don't know, that side was pretty easy. Maybe I just didn't spray that other side well enough. That's this side's pretty easy too. Hi Jack. What you doing, babe? He's like, I'm waiting for my piece of bread. Okay, so the bottom layer stuck, the rest of it came out. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. We we're going to lay it on its side. Wow, it's really dense. And since I totally screwed up the loaf, <coughs> oh, that I'm dying. just going to sample the hot bread. Well, <coughs> <coughs> word of caution, 
Do not inhale the bread. <coughs> God damn. Okay. Now I can cool down. Give me a sec. I would like to add a disclaimer here. I have not eaten wheat bread since 2010. I don't even remember what it tastes like. But I do know what my store-bought gluten-free bread tastes like, so I'm going to judge it off of that. I'm not sure how cool the bread is supposed to be, but it feels pretty cool right now. So I'm going to get it set up on a cutting board and cut a couple slices and see how it does. I'm going to take the loaf. I have to say, it doesn't feel bad. And you can see, it doesn't look bad either. I'm going to cut it upside down. Just because I think that'll help. Now I will get my bread cutting knife. See? Thin enough for one slice. Oh my god, this is crumbly. I do have to say, next time instead of leveling off my cups of flour I think I'm just gonna like use them all heaped up and everything this is crumbly as hell and I'm gonna flip it over and try it oh my god This either needs more flax seed. Oh, oh, that's pretty good. Oh my god, that piece was really good. This either needs more flax seed, or let me think. I don't know, or more flour, because it's just it's so crumbly. It's like falling apart without even trying. Oh my god. I have to say the flavor's there, but the mm, I really think it needed more flour. It is impossible to cut without it crumbling to little pieces. Oh, positive note. It actually tastes really good. Okay. I think it did better cutting it upside down. So I'm going to try it again. Oh my god. So, if you just want bread to eat, like you just want to munch bread, this would be it. If you're trying to make a sandwich, next week we're going to try making the same bread, but maybe with some more flour and some more flaxseed, something to hold it together a little better. So, it wasn't perfect, but it's a good start. On a scale of, I'm allergic to bees. Uh, let's just go here. in the kitchen there's a bee in here. Anyway. So when I'm gonna get an EpiPen out, just in case. Two, I think once we figure out how to make it not so dense or not so crumbly. Like the denseness, I can handle the denseness. Although I may try a little bit more of the apple cider vinegar baking soda blend because it's not bad at all. Uh, it tastes like bread. 
but it tastes like too moist of a bread. So I think next week when we make it, it's going to be flour, more flour, and more flaxseed to help hold its shape, hopefully. So I'll see you next week. She's just sitting over here watching me walk back and forth talk to you guys. And she's like, Sweetie, hi baby. Do you like it when I talk to you? Yeah, you're just gonna sit there and listen. And it's actually really good. Cat, get off the counter. Any hoodles. Come here, you guys. We're getting set back up. Oh my god, I almost broke everything. Okay, now that it's mixed, we are supposed to... Sorry, I know I'm jerking you guys around today, but whatever. So, what do we do for the next 20 minutes? Dishes. Fuck the dishes. I'll do those later. I'm gonna go smoke.